Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everyone is well and welcome to episode 2 of my Sheffield United Football Manager 21 save. We managed to get to the end of the season uh, on the stream, so let's, uh, yeah, let's recap exactly what happened. So guys, as you can see, we finished in 4th place. Absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. It was unbelievable. Um... We still have the FA Cup final to play, so yeah, we made it. We made it to the FA Cup final. Spoiler alert! <laughs> but yeah, honestly, it's been such a fantastic season. Um, as the fact that I left Fleetwood, kind of, I, I, I wasn't sure whether we made the right decision at first. Uh, some of the people in chat as well of my stream kind of said the same thing. Um, but looking at it now, looking at how the season's gone and everything, I 100% am super happy that I made this move to Sheffield United and I am really excited by the future of this team and what we can achieve with it. Um, but yeah, let's let's have a quick look at the schedule here. And uh, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely unbelievable. So we had this like really, really, really amazing run of form here. But it kind of dipped in, uh, dipped a little bit down the bottom here against Man United Liverpool. We lost back to back the first time. We'd lost back to back all season. Uh, we had a very disappointing draw against Aston Villa. But then we managed to beat Brighton 2 0 in the FA Cup semi final, which I think kind of propelled us a little bit. Uh, into a little bit of an unbeaten run we were kind of a bit lucky to get the draw against Burnley I think we went down a, a man as well uh, but then we thrashed Tottenham again so that's the second time that we've beaten Tottenham this season uh, then went on to beat Newcastle probably should have won that by a lot more but it was a little bit uncomfortable towards the end uh, easily beat Leicester easily beat Nottingham Forest and then we absolutely probably as crazy as it sounds considering some of the the goals that we've conceded I mean we look up here we conceded like five against Chelsea um, five against Man United, you know, we've, we've conceded three against Liverpool here, you know, considering all those goals conceded, this is the worst performance of the season. And mainly because it happened at the time where we didn't want it or need it to happen. We needed to get a draw or a win. You know, basically what happened was, is in the last game of the season, it was either between me or Arsenal that we're going to get that top four spot. Uh, and Everton kind of did me a favour and drew with Arsenal, which then... Um, which then got me the Champions League essentially for the following season, for for next season. Uh, but unfortunately, we lost, and of course, you, you're constantly keeping one eye on the results as it's happening. Um, it was awful. It was in our hands, and we nearly bottled it. So thank God for Everton drawing against Arsenal to actually <laughs> to get us the Champions League. I'm absolutely buzzing, really, considering how this season's gone. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. Um. I think we've had some really good results in there, some top, top results, in fact. I mean, some of them, like 6-1 against West Brom, stand out. Some of these here, 6-3 against Nottingham Forest, 5-3 against Newcastle. You know, they were really, really good results. Um, some of them were a bit grindy. We beat we beat Wolves 6-1. I mean, that was amazing, absolutely amazing. They did get some revenge, though, uh, here against us at 3-1. But, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place, buzzing, just absolutely buzzing that we managed to get Champions League. Uh, with Sheffield United, it's absolutely fantastic, and uh, yeah, so the squad's a little bit thin. We're looking at um, replacing maybe two or three players, um, but yeah, we may make a change from this formation. I don't know yet. We kind of edit it a little bit to a false nine, but yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely it's definitely worked out for us. So we'll probably start the season like it, see how we get on with it. Um, this is like a, a Limo Land version three now. So this is Limo's tactic. Uh, another streamer. Um, but yeah, this is uh, probably a Limo Land version 2.2 or version 3 now because we've kind of edited it a little bit um, since then. But yeah, it's been this has been a fantastic season. And we do, well, I'm really looking forward to one, uh, the FA Cup final. We haven't beaten Liverpool, so it's a big challenge. Hopefully we can do it. Uh, and I'm also looking forward to the transfer window ahead. Uh, and if we go into our finances here, we have 50 mil to spend, probably a little bit less because we'll have to adjust the budget to kind of match. But we probably will sell one or two players. Um, but Bernie's had a good season for us, but I am looking at potentially moving him along just to raise a little bit of extra cash. Um, some of the values probably have jumped up as well, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's it's just been such a fantastic season, and I'm really looking forward to season two with Sheffield United, uh, my fourth season on this save, uh, and see what we can do, see who we can bring in. I think we're going to identify, uh, probably getting another striker, a left winger for certain. A left winger is, a, is an absolute must. Um, Bufal is kind of not really... Um, perform that consistently over the course of the season so yeah I really feel like we need a, another left winger I feel like we need a centre back 100% need that centre back in uh, we'll probably keep Connor Cody I feel like he's had a very good season overall uh, very solid 
Uh, and let's face it, he scored uh, <laughs> the goal of the season, which uh, was in the last episode. Um, there's not been a goal scored like that since. So yeah, that's definitely goal of the season for me. Uh, for, 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 for our team anyway, for us, maybe not life overall, but for our team, that's definitely goal of the season. Um, but yeah, this has been a fantastic save. I've really thoroughly enjoyed it so far. Um, but yeah, this, that's it. It's just a quick recap of what's happened on stream. Um, but it's been amazing. I mean, Brewster's got 23 goals. You know, he's had a really cracking season. He's decided that he wants to stay now, uh, which is also fantastic. The guy has developed absolutely immensely. I mean, he is really, really crucial. Um, so I'm going to try and tie this guy down before anything else. I think. Um, I mean, Norwich won him, but let's face it, they're not going to they're not going to get him, and he ain't going to want to leave for Norwich. So yeah, I'm super, super happy. Uh, with this so we're going to tie him down first and foremost before we do anything uh, and then we're probably going to buy cody and then identify potentially another center back and a left winger uh that would be the very very first things that we do if mcburney does go we'll get another striker to replace him but we'll be very very shrewd in how we do that uh we won't rush into any decisions or anything like that so but yeah guys if you want to see this on stream live uh please check all the details below um my stream uh Sorry, my Twitch is in the data uh, details below. Uh, it, honestly, it's been a blast live on stream. I think you'll enjoy it. Please come over and, and just say hello. Um, it's been such a such an absolute journey with this team. I've like, like I said, I've really thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. It was just a quick recap of what's happened. Super, super happy. Um, but yeah, guys, everyone, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button. It means so much as well if you hit the like button and the bell to notify when you're going live or when I'm going live. Sorry. But guys, take care, stay safe, until next episode. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, guys, so um, now we move on to Evolving Mindset. Uh, free organization, absolutely amazing people. They really, really are. Uh, and as you can see at the top there, um, Evolving Mindset offer free online advice, sessions from qualified mental health nurses. Uh, they also offer mindfulness, stress, anxiety management, uh, mental health awareness, and are also available should anyone need any support. Um, I wholeheartedly recommend them. They're so so good, um, and and if you need the help, um, you know, as as they say, it's 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 okay to not be okay, and and it's so true. It really is. And if you are struggling out there, especially in this climate, please please get in touch with Evolving Mindset. I really do recommend them. Uh, shout out to Limo, uh, one of their mental health nurses and directors. He uh, is a streamer on Twitch. His details will be below. Um, if you feel like you want to just connect with a, a Twitch streamer um rather than contact the organization itself uh please feel free to do that limo will 100 percent support you through anything amazing bloke top streamer um and like i say he will really help you out a lot